Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak an Apple TV second generation running on Apple TV software 5.0. This is the latest version of Apple TV software as of the 21st. So let's, let me show you what you need. You're of course going to need the Apple TV itself. Uh, you're going to need the power cable too, so I just left it plugged in. You're going to need a micro USB, not a mini USB, there is a difference. You're going to need the stock remote and a program called Season Pass on your computer, which there will be a link in the description for the Mac and Windows version. So right now, I'm going to show you how to put the device in DFU mode, because that's the first thing you're going to need to do. So let's unplug the HDMI. And let me find the other end of this cable real quick. So, you're going to plug the one end into your computer, and the other end into the, the adapter under the HDMI. Damn, go in there, you little bitch. Wrong way. Okay, so once you've done that, your Apple TV is still on, so, or it might have booted up, I don't know. So, you're going to take the remote, I'm going to hold the menu and the play pause button at the same time facing it just until it starts blinking and my computer will probably be very loud so listen alright so it's blinking slowly now it was blinking very fast but I didn't really see it through the camera so now it's done that it's came up in iTunes so now let's move on to the actual or I'm going to do the other part on screen Okay, now on the on-screen part of the video, as you can see in iTunes, it, po it popped up saying the Apple TV, and if you're experiencing, you can restore it, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to open a program right here called Season Pass. Okay, so this is a tethered jailbreak, which means... If you accidentally shut your unplug your Apple TV, I don't know how you do that, but or the power goes out, I don't know. Just say you accidentally it gets turned off somehow. You're gonna have to plug it back in your computer the way I showed you, and click boot tethered. But that's not what we're gonna do in this video. We're going to actually jailbreak it. So after you've jailbroken it, this is what you'd use. So we're gonna click on the create IPSW. It's going well. It was if it it'll first it'll ask you if you wanna. Or first ask you to jailbreak your what is it jailbreak your or to put your thing in DFU mode but mine went straight to downloading the Apple TV 2 software call it the 5.0 that's the latest one and that's the one I showed you so basically we're gonna wait for it to download I'm gonna let you watch the whole thing just to show you
Alright, so it found the device in DFU mode, and it should pull up iTunes and continue taking and continue and it, it it'll install the software through iTunes. Okay, so it's doing that now. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how, what it looks like on your Apple TV. Okay, now with the final part of the jailbreak, you'll be sitting here with the Apple TV plugged into the power and to the micro USB. What I like to do is unplug it after all of this, plug it back in, and wait, because it won't boot now. So just to make sure it works, this is what I do. I do that. I click on the on the screen, hit boot tethered, and then follow the instructions to get into DFU mode. Let me get the remote real quick. All right. So come on. All right. So hold the two buttons. Okay, so once it's done, just click OK. Now make sure you do not unplug the device. Make sure you only unplug the micro USB and plug in, where is it? The HDMI. Like that. So it's booted now. Alright, so I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's booted now. So, here's the screen, it booted up. So, let's do this. I'm not going to do this for this second. Oh, how do you skip it? Alright, no thanks. And there it is. Now the way you know it's jailbroken is that symbol on your settings instead of it being gray. So that's how you know you successfully jailbroken your Apple TV. Thanks for watching, guys. Out.